Bob Singman from Randy Marin just said this. You are not going to want to miss this. We're going to be talking about exactly what he said and what he said is coming for Randy Marion from Molin Company. We're also going to be going over the charts and a couple updates on the newest news for Molin Company and Randy Marion. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Don't forget to drop a like before we get started. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. I make Molin content every single day and I'm grateful to be here. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You guys know this. Do your own research and do what's best for you. Let's get right into it. So Bob Singman, this guy, commented on my YouTube video yesterday, but the question is, is it really him? So if you remember, you saw the interview from Randy Marion, all of these guys right here, who's been with the business for over 29 years and had a lot to say in that interview with Randy Marion and Mullen Company, commented on my YouTube video yesterday. Let's take a look. So I posted a video yesterday talking about Molin's accomplishments and I said something is coming from Molin Automotive. And Brad Sigmund apparently says lots more coming, Brad Sigmund, Randy Marion Fleet. So there are a couple interesting things that you wanna take into account for this is when you click on his page, you can see that he just created this YouTube channel. So this was yesterday, about an hour ago. So it looks like whoever this person is created this account yesterday. The question is, what do you guys think? Do you think this is actually Brad or do you think this is someone else that just created a fake account and is commenting on the video? I have an idea that it might be him. The only reason I don't think it would be him is because the YouTube channel was just created. But I mean, this is pretty straightforward. I don't know if there's any rules against Brad saying anything like this. I don't think there really is because in the interview, he did state that more vehicles are coming in quarter three and quarter four and in 2024. So I think Brad and the whole team at Randy Marion have a lot of deals already lined up with these vans from Mullen Company. So this is just good news if this is Brad commenting. Brad, if you are watching this, feel free to comment on this video. Maybe you can give us some certainty or some proof that this is actually you. So like the guys from Randy Marion stated that a website would be up later this week. Well, as of yesterday, the website is up with Randy Marion and Mullen Vans. So I'll show you a little bit of this, but you can see that it says Randy Marion Mullen, um, entirely US-based electric van solutions, contact us with a phone number. You can see down below the website is randymarionmullen.com. So it's a separate website, it looks like, from Randy Marion's actual website. If you do scroll all the way to the bottom, they do have a two minute video showing the vans, you know, very clean vans, just marketing their product, which is pretty nice. You know, they're making steps in the right direction to really start selling a bunch of these vans, in my opinion. And then they have some information down here and exactly where Randy Marion is, if you wanna give him a call. If anyone wants to call Brad and, and see what's going on over there, feel free to give him a call and let me know down below or post on Twitter, uh, tag me so we can learn more about exactly what's going on with Mullen and Randy Marion. This is new from what I've seen with MullenCommercial.com. You could see Mullen and Randy Marion deliver class one EV cargo vans to UNC Charlotte. So they're starting to market their product a lot more. They're starting to post a lot more. I know Mullen on Instagram has been posting a lot more than they usually do. So what's your guys' take on all of this so far? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to drop a like if any of this is valuable. I appreciate you. I'm about to get into the charts and show you some cool stuff from yesterday and what we might be going into today, but why Mullen commercial? With, uh, help with climate change while helping your bottom line. You can see on the website, they list a bunch of facts on why you wanna go electric. Um, also, Menzies talked about the positive aspects that Mullen brought to the table with their vans, and they liked it, right? We just got no deal from Menzies, that's why the stock price crashed, and that's why the bears are saying no, there won't be a deal, blah, 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 all this noise, right? So your bottom line, 50% reduction in maintenance costs, 65% reduction in energy expenses. That's two great things for businesses to want to buy electric vehicles. If it's gonna cost them less money when these vehicles break, because all vehicles break, right? And if it's going to save them money on things like gasoline and things like that, then it's a no-brainer. 54% cost mile savings, 
and you also get a tax credit of 7,500 bucks, right? Tax credit for class one electric vehicles. So when you're looking at a business who needs vehicles and the world is going electric and the world is adapting to electric vehicles, this is a no brainer. And I think a lot of deals are coming for businesses with Molin vans. If you've stayed this long, I appreciate you. Now let's get into the charts. So yesterday was a pretty big day in my opinion because we held support at 10 cents. If you watched my video yesterday, I said we had very strong support at 10 cents. You can see right here, we did not close below 10 cents. We actually closed at 10, 11. So very close to 10 cents, but that's what this stock has been doing. You know, shorts are driving this down and they're scaring a lot of retail in my opinion. So the only thing I'm worried about right now, the, my only concern basically is I want to stay above 10 cents. I do not want to close below 10 cents because I want this to be the next higher low on the stock price and I want to start moving all the way up to my next price target of around 18 cents, okay? Why 18 cents? There's a lot of strong resistance in that area in my opinion. I think it will be a battle to get up there but looking at it from a, t a chart perspective, also if we get any news today, this could help push us up slowly to 18 cents. You know, if we get some massive news like Mullen has had before, we could go way past 18 cents. It really just depends on what news comes out and shorting and all the above. And we know this has been a roller coaster with Mullen stock over these last couple months, but we are making steps in the right direction. And that's why I am still bullish on Mullen company, even though we're trading just above 10 cents right now. But let me know what you guys think down below. I would truly appreciate that. Now we do have lows of just under nine cents, right? So we could test those lows again. So be aware of that, manage your own risk. You know, don't go so heavy into one stock if you are trading stocks or whatever it is. But really what I'm thinking is we have great news. Randy Marion um, is delivering on what they said. Mullen is delivering on what they said with Randy Marion. The interview was very bullish last week, which made the stock price move up. And now shorts have just taken advantage and they're crashing this thing down. Now, one piece of advice that I would tell you if you are trying to get out of your position in Mullen stock, wait till we have some green days. You know green days are coming, okay? So when we sell on red days, yes, you may have some peace of mind, like I'm finally out of this, no more stress, no more whatever is going on through your head, but I always recommend Wait till we have some massive green days, then start to shed some of your shares. And then if you still wanna be in the stock, you know we're probably gonna come back down to certain areas, then you can buy those areas again. If you wanna learn more about how we're trading Molin stock, check out the links down below. We got the Patreon for $7 a month. We talk a lot about Molin, chart analysis, other stocks, and just winning this year in 2023. Hopefully this is helpful, guys. Appreciate you for staying this long. We'll see you on the next one.